We wanted to take our reporting on the supply chain issues further for you tonight. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is looking into how Florida could help solve these problems in the future and what experts say about online ordering as we get into this holiday season. As dozens of cargo ships sit anchored off the coast of California waiting to dock, the Florida Ports Council is now encouraging shipping firms to send ships to the Sunshine State. We get it. Uh, Decades ago, it was the shortest route from uh, Asian ports, including China and Japan. And uh, you know, it made sense to, to stuff a lot of cargo flow through those uh, California ports. But now Ruben says while the trip may be quick, it may not be the most efficient or cost effective, especially as some ships sit anchored for months. Uh, it's about a seven day voyage through the Panama Canal. Um, yes, it may be a little more expensive uh, to, to take that route on a water tour, but, uh, you know, you're paying for mortgage fees, you're, you're paying for other fees over there, uh, just sitting off the coast and your products not getting to the shelves in times. As of yesterday, the Marine Exchange of Southern California reports 144 total ships in port at Los Angeles and Long Beach. 80 of those are at anchor or drift areas and 64 are at berth in all containing billions of dollars worth of merchandise and goods on board. We have the opportunity to provide those shipping lines and beneficial cargo owners the, uh, a more efficient route that can get their product not only to the third largest domestic market in the country, but also to other markets outside of Florida within two days. And Ruben says the Florida ports are ready to take on new business. In a statement from Port Tampa Bay, they say they're not seeing congestion or delays and that, quote, our ports stand ready to welcome new business and serve as a supply chain alternative and solution. We realize how important it is to get those goods to market uh, to not be the Grinch that stole Christmas. Ruben adds that it's not something that can change overnight. We need to send that message to the major retailers. But something he's hoping Congress will work on in order to create more efficiency in the future. COVID added to it, but I think it's it's just, it, it, you know, we've got a growing population that's not slowing down anytime soon. Uh, so it's, it's I, I think this is a reflection of a mindset. In the meantime, as the logjam persists, he says if you have not started holiday shopping, it's getting to be too late. It hasn't quite hit yet for most of the consumers. It's starting to, prices are going up. So it, it's gonna become a bigger issue in the next few months. McKenna King, ABC Action News. And if you wanna learn more about this, we took a deeper dive into how the supply chain ended up where it is right now. That report posted on our website, abcactionnews.com, as well as some key shipping dates to keep in mind over this holiday season.